friends! Welcome back to Big Ideas for Little Learners. I'm Miss Minnie and today I'm going to show you how to make some special paints with ice. So here's what you'll need. Some water in a pitcher, different colors of food coloring, an ice cube tray, and some popsicle sticks. And what we're going to do first is pour the water into the ice cube tray, but we don't want to fill all the slots completely full. We want to leave some space because when we put it in the freezer and freeze it, the water will expand as it turns into ice and it's going to take up more space in the tray and we don't want it to overflow and the colors to mix together. So I'm going to pour it very carefully. Not quite full. You might need a grown-up to help you with this part. Whoops, made that one a little too full. Okay, now we're going to add a few drops of each color of food coloring. So first I'm gonna start with red because I wanna make mine look like a rainbow. So I'm gonna do some red here, one, two, three, four, and I don't have orange, so I'm gonna need to make orange. Do you remember what two colors we mixed together to make orange? I'll give you a hint, one of them is red. Yellow, that's right. So I'm gonna mix only one drop of red, and I'm gonna put in two drops of yellow. One, two, and then my next color is gonna be yellow, so I'm gonna do three drops of yellow. One, two, three. And then what color comes next in the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green. Good remembering. Now the green is very dark, so I'm only gonna use two drops. One, two. And then what's the next color in the rainbow? You got it, it's blue. You sure know your rainbow colors. Just two drops again. One, two. And what's the next color of the rainbow? It's purple. Okay, purple's really dark also, so I'm only gonna put two drops of purple. One, two. And what's the last color? Pink. I'm gonna put in three drops of pink. One, two, three. So you're gonna do that for both sides of your tray. I just did the one side to show you. And then you're gonna use your um, popsicle sticks to stir it up. So I happen to have some colorful popsicle sticks here, but I don't have a red one, so I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna put a little bit more water in my red. Just a tiny bit more. I'm gonna use my popsicle stick to stir it up and then I'm gonna let my popsicle stick just rest. Whoop. There we go. And then orange, stir, 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 stir. And yellow. So you're gonna stir them all up and put in all of the popsicle sticks, even on the other side. And then you're gonna put it in your freezer and you're gonna let it stay in the freezer overnight to turn into ice. And I have one that I did yesterday. So I'm gonna put this one aside. And here are my popsicles that are gonna be our paints. So I have my paper here. And we're gonna do a little painting. So let's see here. I think I'll make a rainbow on my paper. In fact, I'm gonna turn my paper this way and make a rainbow. So here's my red. <gasps> Look at that. Spread it around a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Let's try this one. This one has a little more color. Oh yeah, that looks great. And we'll do some orange next. It works better when the ice has started to melt a little bit. There we go. Really blend the orange and the red. And then I'll do some yellow. As the ice starts to melt, it starts to turn into watercolor paints. Now some green. There we go. And blue. 
my favorite color. Oh, I like how the blue and the green mix together. That's pretty. And then comes purple. And the last shade is pink. And whoop, there it is. Oh, my pink and my purple are mixing up a little bit. I think I'm going to do a little more green over here. It's looking a little empty on this side. Well, there you have it, friends. You can use your new ice cube watercolors to paint any picture you like. I hope you'll put your photos and your videos below. Bye, friends.